Hello, Nick here from Technovo and welcome back to the channel. It's Steam Deck time again. Steph did a very in-depth review and I've done a video on how to hook up a keyboard, mouse and monitor to your deck for more of a desk gaming experience. I'll leave those links below. You guys have asked a bunch of questions in the comments on those videos. Some we can answer on the spot, some we're looking into, and a few of you wanted to see what the deck looked like on a TV, what you can do via the desktop outside of gaming, and someone wanted to see some CSGO gameplay as well. Before I go downstairs and hook the deck up to my TV, you'll need a USB-C hub or dock. Steam have announced their official dock for the Steam Deck that does look really good, but it's not out until spring, so maybe April, maybe May. But until then, you need to use a third-party USB-C hub to connect your peripherals to your deck and or your TV and monitor. Check out the other video I did for more info on that. Okay, so I'm down in my living room. Um, I've got the deck here. It's, uh, it's turned on. I've got the dongle. USB-C into the back of the deck and then we've got HDMI out to the telly, uh, keyboard and mouse as well. I haven't got a very big um, unit downstairs but we'll make it work. Okay, so I've managed to get everything in shot. Got my TV, Steam Deck, mouse, keyboard. TV is 4K, um, it's quite old now. And what I did find interesting, if I press I on here, it's coming up at 4K 30 Hertz. Uh, 16 by 9 so the resolution has gone up we'll check that in the game in a minute before that Linux is very much like Windows uh, Firefox is already pre-installed there's also discover which is a bit like the Windows Store if you click on that um, it's nowhere near as um, fruitful as the Windows Store but there are applications that you can download um, and install just like Windows. There is also um, a number of Linux uh, programs you can download online. Um, to get online, Firefox is already provided and installed. Um, it's down there on the, on the bottom left. And it's just as if you are at a PC. So we can look up a video so here we go uh, just clicked on Steph's video uh, review video for his deck um, I've also I should have said the soundbar my HDMI is going through my soundbar and then e-arc up to the telly so the soundbar is also playing the sound back when we did our unboxing you can find that just up there the chance to play our favourite PC games on the go. Now, of course, portable gaming isn't new, and with Nintendo. So, YouTube is trying to output the quality at 4K, but this is definitely not 4K quality. For at least, I don't know, a century now, and smartphone gaming becoming a huge market of late, the PC gamers were being left behind. But. So, there we go. I'm using mouse and keyboard. YouTube, uh, what else shall we go on? Um, go to Google. What should we search for? Um, Steam Deck reviews. And there we go. Let's see what Tech Creator said. Mouse very responsive. Works a treat. What about if you wanted to do some productivity stuff? So let's go, uh, let's go Google Docs. I use this quite a lot. Let's just sign in. Here we go, so I've just logged into Google Docs. Bunch of scripts and reviews that have uh, been doing. Let's open up a document and we can start typing. Hello. There we go. 
Okay, so I thought I'd try Netflix. I did just try Netflix uh, through Firefox, but it wasn't working. Um, so yeah, Firefox, the browser, wouldn't play Netflix because it wasn't, wasn't up to date. So instead of updating it, I just thought I'd try Chrome. You can get Chrome from the Discover uh, store. Log into Netflix. Hmm. Good one. And away you go. Okay, time to play a game. So let's open up Steam. We'll try some CSGO to start with, I think. And then we'll uh, try something else as well. Okay, so here we go. We're in a game of CSGO. It's still, the deck is still outputting at 4K, 30 hertz. So 30 hertz isn't gonna be enough for any competitive gaming. It's a bit laggy. I haven't played this in such a long time. Let's just buy anything, let's go. Mm. I'm gonna say this is not Playable. Steam Deck's getting louder. I've got no money now. Thousand. See if we can. Uh, still there. Thirty, thirty frames is nowhere near enough to play this game. Hopefully, the the camera is picking up. Just it looks looks good, but it's just not it's not playable. Definitely not playable. That's enough of that. Let's play something else. I wonder why the toolbar is here. Yeah. I think it's because it's still thinking the deck is still the primary screen. So if we go display monitor, let's switch it that way because it's bugging me. And then, so that's primary. That's secondary. Fine. So yeah, 4K, 16 by 9. Refresh rate 30, 25, 24. So the taskbar has gone now. You need to make sure that the uh, your TV is set to the primary. And I set it to the left, the deck to the right. Let's load into a game. Yeah, load. Oh yeah, this looks very, very pixelated. Hmm. A little bit laggy. Yeah, scrolling in, scrolling out. Oh, that was the postman. Where's my guy? There he is. Um, yeah, spin around. I guess it's not too bad. It plays a lot better on the deck itself. I've been playing this on the deck. Although the screen is very small, some of the text is really, really small. It looks really good. Is it playable? I think it, this is more playable than CSGO. Still a bit of lag though. And it, a bit of jittering. It's probably going to annoy you quite a lot and stop you from playing. So there we have it. There was me trying out my deck on my TV and seeing what else I can do other than gaming. Hopefully you found it a little bit interesting and if you've got any more questions, leave them below and we will try and answer them for you. 
As always, if you want to see more videos from us in the future, hit that subscribe button and all our future videos will pop up in your feed.